Hi, you two. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you're back! Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing! Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Alright, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. No problem. I'll be waiting for you here. Whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. through the advanced exam. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, Traveler? If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. This experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? A memory-enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Whoa. 
Pyron didn't know you could make potions like that. Sounds awesome! Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Uh... Paimon didn't quite catch all that. <laughs> <sighs> my bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guy in Tibet in no time! Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. <laughs> <laughs>